When the Obama family transitioned to a private life, Teferi Campbell continued working as a sous chef at the White House. Obama chef Teferi Campbell was found dead while paddle boarding at their Martha's Vineyard residence. His cause of death was later determined to be an accident on Martha's Vineyard, a lake was where his body was found. But there are still many unresolved issues, not the least of which is who the female paddle boarder with him at the moment was. Let's explore deep into it. On the south lawn of the White House in Washington, D.C. on November 6, 2008, White House chef Teferi Campbell beams. Obama's former staffer Campbell drowned close to the couple's Martha's Vineyard residence. Teferi Campbell of Dumfries, Virginia, was the paddle boarder whose body was found in Edgerton Great Pound on Monday, July 24, 2023, according to the Massachusetts State Police. The Massachusetts State Police said on Monday that a personal chef for the Obama family passed away over the weekend after being seen struggling in the sea while paddle boarding close to the former first family's home on Martha's Vineyard. The Massachusetts Environmental Police discovered the chef's body in Edgar Town Great Pond, about 100 feet from shore, in water that was about 8 feet deep. Tafari Campbell, 45, of Dumfries, Virginia, was on vacation at the vineyard. Several police enforcement agencies participated in an hour-long search that started on Sunday night for the suspect after it was discovered using sonar from a boat. The state police reported that former President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama were not at home when the tragedy occurred. The state police and the Edgar Town Police Department are both looking into the murder of Mr. Campbell, a sous chef who had worked for the Obamas both during their time in the White House and subsequently. After receiving a call about a male paddle boarder who had gone into the water, appeared to briefly struggle to stay on the surface and then submerge and did not resurface, emergency services from Edgar Town responded to Edgar Town Great Pond near Turkey Land Cove, where Mr. Obama has a summer residence. The police claimed that another paddle boarder who was on the pond with him at the time observed him submerge. This search was aided by the state police, the U.S. Coast Guard, and other local fire departments, including divers. After many hours of searching, the operation was paused to allow dive teams, flight crews, and other responders to re-equip and assess next steps, according to the state police. The Vineyard Gazette was informed by Edgar Town Fire Department Chief Alex Schaefer that when Mr. Campbell was reported missing, Island police officers and firefighters carried out door-to-door -door searches as well as a foot search of the pond's coastline. Mr. and Mrs. Obama spoke to Mr. Campbell in a statement as a truly wonderful man and a beloved part of our family. They recalled him as a skilled sous chef at the White House who was creative and passionate about food and its capacity to unite people. We grew to know him as a pleasant, jovial, incredibly kind person who made all of our lives a little brighter in the years that followed. The Obama said that as they prepared to leave the White House, they had asked Mr. Campbell to remain with them. Since then, he has been a part of their lives, they claimed. His passing has broken our hearts. The twin boys Xavier and Savin, as well as Mr. Campbell's wife Sharice, are listed as his survivors in their statement. The Obamas, who have spent many summers on Martha's Vineyard, paid $11.75 million in 2019 for a private 30-acre estate on the South Shore. Their 6,900-square-foot, seven-bedroom home has views of the ocean and a barrier beach and is located in front of Edgar Town Great Pond. There are several inlets on the quiet, brackish coastal pond that are well-liked by recreational boaters, especially by kayaks and paddle boarders wanting to see a breathtaking sunset. The National Weather Service reported fair and clear weather with a high of about 70 degrees. Since his time as a senator from Illinois, Mr. Obama has traveled to the vineyard. He spent a portion of every August on the island for seven of the eight years he served as president, omitting 2012 due to a re-election campaign. This is not the first sudden death of a chef for a former American president. Former executive chef Walter Scheib, who served under Presidents Bill Clinton and George W. Bush, unexpectedly drowned in 2015 while hacking in Teos, New Mexico. The 45-year-old ex-White House chef vanished from the area around the Obama's Massachusetts home. 
Police had been looking for him ever since a fellow paddleboarder called 911 to report seeing a male paddleboarder who had gone into the water, appeared to briefly struggle to stay on the surface, and then submerged. The search and rescue team discovered Chef Teferi Campbell's drowned body from the Edgar Town Great Pond some 100 feet from the coast at a depth of 8 feet. Unfortunately, Chef Teferi Campbell did not resurface. The native of Dumfries, who worked for the Obamas as their personal chef, was in town from his residence in Virginia. They weren't there, though, when the tragedy occurred. It is interesting to note that Campbell's body was found without a life jacket on. The Massachusetts State Police Department is currently looking into the tragedy. However, it is assumed that it was simply an unfortunate accident. Twitterati, on the other hand, believes it is somewhat comparable to the death of White House chef Walter Scheib, who worked for President Clinton and drowned in New Mexico. Additionally, online users have located a video of Teferi Campbell that shows him to be an accomplished swimmer. In fact, he can be seen doing backstroke, freestyle, and other swimming strokes during an extended 40-minute swim session in his Instagram fitness highlights. As Teferi Campbell's drowning seemed fairly unlikely, this has led some online community members to speculate that there may have been some sort of conspiracy behind his death. They've also made links between the deaths of the two White House chefs, saying that it looks like a pattern. Others think the chef's passing may have anything to do with the former president. Teferi Campbell, a sous chef, spent over 10 years working at the White House in Washington, D.C., first under George W. Bush and then under Barack Obama's two-term administration. He participated in the development of some of the most well-known presidential meals while he was there, including one that featured Barack's preferred honey ale beer, which was made using ingredients cultivated especially for the White House. Obama invited Campbell to work for him as a personal chef once he left office and Campbell agreed. Since then, he was intermittently traveled from his home in Virginia to wherever the Obamas were living, spending time with them. Michelle Obama told the BBC that Tafari Campbell is survived by his wife, Sharice, and their sons, Xavier and Savin, their twin sons. As the White House executive chef, American chef Walter Scheib achieved fame. Born and reared in Dale City, Virginia, Scheib developed a love for cooking at a young age. He received his Culinary Institute of America diploma in 1979. In 1994, First Lady Hillary Clinton appointed Walter Scheib as the White House executive chef. He offered a fresh imaginative perspective to the White House kitchen, focusing on maximizing the use of fresh, premium products and modern American cuisine. From 1993 until 2005, Scheib served in the Clinton and George W. Bush administrations. He quickly became a favorite of the first family, the staff, and the guests thanks to his creativity and culinary skill. Scheib was in charge of planning and executing the menus for a variety of events, from formal state banquets to small private gatherings. According to reports, he was well known for his ability to combine time-tested recipes with modern cooking techniques. Scheib showed his dedication to improving American food and culinary traditions while serving at the White House. His inventive cooking was meant to highlight the diversity of American cuisine, which he considered as a combination of various cultures and traditions. In June 2015, while climbing alone in the highlands of New Mexico, Walter Scheib suddenly disappeared. His remains were located following a thorough search two weeks later. Scheib drowned on or about June 13 and died, according to an autopsy. It was impossible to determine how long his body had been in the ravine where it was found because of how well preserved it was due to the cold weather. What do you think? These fatalities are turning the story into a peculiar situation. What do you make of Obama's role in Teferi Campbell's passing then? Comment below with your answer and let us know. And if you want to be notified when new videos are posted, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon. We'll see you back here with more captivating videos. Goodbye, till we meet again.